Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Tomislav Golubvik. I'm the technical pre-sales specialist for plant and infrastructure uh, here at Autodesk Australia. Uh, I cover Australia and New Zealand, um, demonstrating plant 3D, InfoWorks, uh, and advanced steel. Um, following on from our my previous video of uh, InfoWorks and plant as a concept to lay out some pipe racks and, and some equipment inside InfoWorks using some basic plant structure uh, and components. Uh, we're going to do this second video is similar sort of idea but we're going to do it sort of in a mining sense. So we're going to lay out some roads, put in some, some vehicles and const construction vehicles um, and then we're going to have a look at making things like conveyors uh, and stockpiles. So before we, we jump into InfoWorks we need to do a little bit of pre-work. So um, I've got Plant 3D here. I've just created a, a blank temporary uh, project with a, a blank model in it. So my first thing I'm going to do is have a look at just making some equipment. So I'm just going to make a hopper. Um, you know, it can be called a bin or a chute or, or something similar. Um, so we don't want the, the torospheric head. Uh, I want the cylinder and I want to add, uh, let's put a cone. Okay, and I'll just get rid of the head. So the cylinder, um, let's give it a three meter diameter and a five meter height. And then the cone, we're gonna orientate it downwards. So the first diameter is three meters. The second one we'll make, we'll make it 500. Uh, and the height, uh, let's make it 1500. And go create. Put a zero zero and then orientate it. Okay, now by default, Plan 3D has put some nozzles in there. I'm not really too fussed on having them in there, so I'm just going to go through and delete them. So on some pieces of equipment, you need to press Control and then select the item. But there's there's our object there. So from here, I'm going to type in the command FBX export. Uh, stick it on my desktop, uh, call it hopper, and go save. Uh, I don't really need or want the lights or the cameras or, or anything else, I just want the objects basically. So I want to click OK. So we've got our hopper there now, so I can get rid of that. And now I'm going to make a structure, just a basic one. So going into my settings, I've got some universal columns that I want to pick. Put it at zero, zero, and I'm going to give it a height of six meters. I'm going to copy that. Six meters in one direction. And then I'm going to copy those two again. Actually, let's put in the beams to make everything together. So same thing. I'm just going to come up here, go to my members. S for settings, go to my UBs. I'm just going to pick the biggest one just because it is the biggest. And then run it from midpoint of the top of that column over to the midpoint of the other column. Again, it doesn't have to be fancy. We're just going to do it as uh, something uh, something symbolic that we can put inside our InfraX model. I'm going to copy this over six meters. Uh, and then do the same thing with the, the mating beam over here. So from midpoint to midpoint, of one column to the other column. Okay, and then copy this over six meters. Okay, I've just picked six meters just because it's a nice even number. We can adjust all of the, the stretching and the scaling and everything else inside InfoWorks. So I'm going to FBX export this out. Uh, and then we're going to call it structure. And go save. So again, I'm just going to do the objects. And that's it. So now I can close Plant 3D and not worry about saving anything else. So from inside InfoWorks, one of the first things we can do is look at our uh, style palette. 
So we need to bring those objects in. So I go to my 3D model tab uh, and then down the bottom here I click on the, the plus sign so I'm adding a new style and obviously one of the first ones is going to be that hopper. Uh, because of the scaling uh, issue, so plant works in millimetres, infra works in metres, so I'm just going to scale it by a thousandth. Okay. So we still have our object in there and I go OK. So I'm just going to call it um, Mining Hopper. And then I'm going to do the same for my structure. Again, same thing, we need to scale it down. Otherwise it's going to end up as a massive uh, object in our model. one there we go go OK and the same thing I'm going to call it mining structure right now we jump into our road styles so I'm going to make a new road style the material group can just be anything basically so um, I'll just give it a normal, I guess, city highway colour. We don't really have to worry about some of these materials because what we want to do is we're going to change the values here to basically reduce the road down to be as, as small as possible. Okay. And what we want to do now is add the mining structure as a piece of decoration. So you can see here in the preview we've got it there and it's all obviously offset being, being which, whichever lane it is so we can obviously adjust all of that as well so I can adjust the spacing down to match the rest of it uh, and in my translation I can go minus 3 and minus 3 um, now this is comes down to personal preference so your, your scaling you can even change your scaling to be too wide so we can start making structures um, within InfraWorks on, on whatever width don't worry about the length because the length is going to be dictated by us, us drafting um, uh, the, the length of the road so we've only got one floor there so I'm going to add a second floor so it's a second uh, mining structure so again same thing I'm going to make it six meters uh, and we can make the height offset six meters so you can see there in our model we've got a second story and we can do the same look at our translation uh, and change some of the values here and what I'll do just for this demo I'll add a third level so spacing uh, of 6 meters, height offset of 12 and then translation minus 3 and minus 3 and change the scale to a y of 2 and I go close okay and then I click OK so now I'm going to give it a name of mining structure so this is where I can start laying things out. So go to my roads tab, create a collector road, look for my mining structure style, okay so here we go. So now we've just got that structure there and if I adjust obviously my values we can make it bigger or smaller. Okay. So let's make it look something like that. So from here, you know, I can add in my city furniture. So my city furniture, the, I can add that hopper that I had before. 
okay so it's placed out in the model somewhere I can just obviously just turn around in each direction edit it and then stick it where I need and want to inside that structure so we're going to sort of place it somewhere that looks sort of about the center uh, and then let's stick it up over here somewhere so I can do the same we can just start placing these things all around the place again it doesn't have to be perfect we're just trying to convey an idea uh, to whoever is uh, running the project or or financing it the, the customer it could be the, the engineers it could be uh, anyone in the in the company who who wants to get some buy-in and some feedback on this project. Okay, so we've got those two sort of in in a in our approximate location. Okay, one sort of up on a high level, one on a lower level. Okay, so now we want to start looking at conveyors. So if I go to my road styles, you can see I've already created a conveyor here. So similar sort of thing to creating my mining structure road but it's actually a bridge type um, so all of these values are adjusted to suit so I've got the metre wide uh, and 200 mil high so when I do draw it uh, as a road style so again same thing I'm just going to use a collector road and I'll type in here conveyor and I don't have to be too accurate so that's it on the on the uh, on grade. So I'm going to bring it up over here, make it come up to my structure here, and this is where we start getting tricky. Now, when I pick it up from the end and I lift it up in the Z value, you can see we've got our conveyor sitting here. If I start manipulating these a little bit. don't want that so I want to adjust the Z value a little bit I can also add in a PVI and you can see we can get a bit of a curve happening there now too so maybe we want to lift lift it up there and we can do the same at the at this other end so drop it down Okay, so now we've got a, a pretty good representation of a, of a conveyor system. So I can do the same. So we can just say for argument's sake that that conveyor is feeding that hopper and then we're going to do another conveyor coming off this line. Look for my conveyor style. Come over start to end. and then lift the end up here and what I'll do, I'll just stick another couple PVI's in here put another one down below just to get a look and feel for, for what maybe the conveyor is going to look like okay so it's not a bad little sort of concept I guess for for a site now we've got a couple options here to do in regards to stockpiles so InfraWorks has some sand piles already in here as city furniture so we can place them in there they're pretty static uh, we can't really do too much I can go through and uh, edit the scale of them and you know adjust their position and like everything else I can just come back and copy copy paste it um, and then the other option we can do if you want to actually start getting some values out is using something like our coverage areas so if I'm going to do it uh, let's do it as an industrial zone not that it's really going to matter so I can do a long stockpile but all I need to do is just give it a really really thin 
width okay so there's that stockpile but it's sitting on the ground obviously what we can do with that now is pick it up edit it and I can shift the Z value so now I really do get a bit of a stockpile here which means that when I go into my analysis tool I can go look at the terrain statistics of that stockpile and it tells me we've obviously got no cut and we've got just over 450,000 cubic meters of fill okay and then from that we can start placing some roads around so I've already done a dirt road here with some um, construction vehicles on it so like before I can do a collector road and arterial so I'm just going to do a collector road coming from this main highway so the trucks are going to drive up drive around just going to keep clicking points close off the road now I can drag that road style onto the road that I've placed and you can see my vehicles appear I'm just going to tidy up this intersection and I'm even going to stick maybe a couple lanes on this road just to make it look a little bit more real okay so there we go we've got our trucks driving around our mine site if I want to give it some more detail we can say that um, we can put an admin building over this side of the, the road here so over near the stockpiles okay so there's a little bit of an admin building and then over here we can add some more construction vehicles so we can put an excavator in over here maybe another mover okay so we can start slowly building up what our site's going to look like and like everything else in InfoX we can render this out uh, if we start liking these layouts we can obviously bring them into civil um, and then you know get the appropriate buy-in from 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 the right people on the project now maybe someone turns around and says they don't they don't like that building or they don't like the size of it so like everything else we can just come back and click on it drop it down a little bit okay we can add in other items or city furniture so we do have people so we can add other people in there there are other buildings so if we're doing something that had a service station we've got service stations there's post offices and other houses and structures as well so you can make um, I think a good case for a mine site in InfraWorks even though there isn't the ability to draw things like this structure in here but we can utilize structural entities as an FBX model on a road style as decorations and then we can get an idea on what the site's going to look like. Thank you.